Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for November 20th into the 21st. This is for all signs. We're going to see whatever comes up. This is not a private reading, so it doesn't have your name on it. You know, it may be for you or it may not be. If it does have your name on it, let me know. November 20th into the 21st. King of Pentacles. King of Wands reversed. Two of Cups reversed. The Fool. The Magician. Somebody has manifested a new opportunity, or they're manifesting it right now. We do have somebody that is starting from scratch. Starting a brand new journey after some sort of separation with the Two of Cups reverse. There's been a separation or there's going to be a separation which allows somebody to start over because they shed the old magician the magician uses his his resources his tools to shed the old and evolve so we have somebody that is starting over after a separation Now, the King of Wands reversed. This is a person that has lost their focus, their ambition, their drive. It's like they've given up. But we do, I mean, this King of Pentacles is holding a golden opportunity. He is. something. He's holding the Ace of Pentacles, which is a manifestation. Something new. So we have a new opportunity here. For something to a new start. We have a new beginning. I've given up on this. The arguing. The fighting. This. Contract. This partnership. That is no more emotionally fulfilling. That's what this is. We have we have a somebody. That has given up on some sort of partnership. That. There's been too much. It's been too much, too much fighting, arguing, um, incompatibility. And now there's another, I mean, there is a new opportunity. There is, absolutely. Knight of Swords reversed. Death reversed. It's holding, holding on. Somebody has been holding on and I can't do it anymore. I just can't do it anymore. They've held on for as long as they can. And now they've realized that they've stalled this new opportunity. Interesting. Seven of Wands. Yeah, it's time. It's time for me to defend myself and stand my ground. After they've delayed it for quite some time. The Eight of Wands underneath the Fool. They've delayed their new beginning. Somebody has delayed it. The Tower. Oh my God. The time is now. Right now. Underneath the Magician. We have a blessing. We have a blessing in disguise. A, a fated change of events. Five of Swords on the bottom. 
There's been too much conflict. This has been a constant battle. You win. I'm leaving. Too many people have been hurt in this situation. Go ahead. Take the you ha you win. I am no longer going to fight. These people have given up the fight. They take it. You win. She's got three swords. Three of swords is pain. These people no longer want to deal with their pain. You go ahead. You keep it. You keep it. You keep your pain. You wallow in your own pain. You hold on to that pain. I'm letting it go. I'm, it's not worth it. So we're about to have a person or a situation that wakes somebody up and moves them in a new direction. I mean, the tower is a rude awakening. Somebody is about to get a rude awakening that I am not going to fight anymore. These power struggles, these conflicts, this arguing, is draining me and I'm ready to go down a new path and the universe sees the tower is a universe card the universe sees that somebody has not found the courage and the strength to move forward they've been letting fear hinder them they may have been staying where they're at for financial reasons holding on to a dead-end situation. And now we've come to the point where this is so unstable. It's already broken. And it can't be fixed. And it's time to crash. It's time to break this false foundation. It's time for it to crumble. So that you can start over. So that you can have the new beginning that you deserve. It's been stalled and delayed for a long time. And now, with this Seven of Wands, you're gonna, it's, it's time to stand up. It's time to defend yourself. It's time to put yourself back on top. It's time to do the right thing for you. And stop holding on to something that is incompatible, very argumentative, too much conflict, and emotionally and physically draining. The troubles are about to be washed away, whether you like it or not. It's time to start over. It's time to start fresh. It's time to take that leap. Face those fears. Let go of the past. The fool doesn't take the past. The past stays where it's at. 
All he's taking is a few life experiences and he's gone. I'm taking that leap to a new destination. And it takes courage to do that. So we do have somebody that is about to start a new journey. They have not found the courage and the faith and the ability to face this fear for quite some time. But we've come to a point of immense struggle with the Five of Swords. It's been a constant battle. And I don't want to fight anymore. Ties are being severed. Because it's not worth the pain. If you want to hold on to the pain, go ahead. It's yours. But I'm walking away. Somebody is walking away. Severing ties with somebody that has to win. You cannot reason with these people or this person. So we have somebody that has stalled and delayed and blocked this fresh start out of fear because the Knight of Swords reversed is fear, lack of courage. And, and, be, and because they have stalled, their energy has been drained continuously. And now they're finding their tools, they're finding their resources to take action with a little bit of help from the universe. The universe is bringing in some sort of blessing in disguise that is going to force somebody to speak up. And stop pretending. To defend themselves. To stop blocking this new beginning. It's like it's been some sort of war zone with the Five of Swords and the Seven of Wands. And staying in this spot has delayed happiness. So we have somebody that is taking action To follow their passions and move to a new place. So somebody could be actually moving. Because where they're at, there's no stability at all with that tower. That's a false foundation. There is no stability. None. There's too much turmoil. It's already broken. And they've been trying to avoid this for quite some time. But the universe, that's the universe card. The universe sees that this is overwhelming. And now it's time for you to defend yourself and do what's right for you. So today is a day of experiencing, whether today and tomorrow, into tomorrow, okay, this is the 20th into the 21st, there is going, with that tower card, there's going to be a change, there's going to be a change, uh, some kind of, um, almost like a catastrophe, you know, like when a storm comes, like a hurricane or a tsunami or, you know, um, a flood, because there's a, it looks like this could be a flood that's going to take this down. Something is going to be taken down. Mm. 
because it's it's time to begin again. It's time to shed the old and bring more more success to your life. The the magician takes action by using the tools and the resources within him to bring success. So we do have a new golden opportunity here that is coming about as someone takes that leap into the unknown. I mean, that's what the fool is. He's... He could, they could fall into this waterfall, but they're, they're trusting that they're going to make it. Taking that leap away from this incompatible, argumentative, troublesome partnership. And because they take that leap of faith, they have a new opportunity for success. I mean, the Ace of Pentacles, I mean, it's a King of Pentacles, but he's holding the Ace of Pentacles. That's abundance. I am going to find my abundance. The Knight of Swords again. It's going to go over here. There's been lack of courage. Somebody has been in no hurry to take this leap of faith. And the universe, it's going right here. The universe sees it. The universe sees that somebody doesn't have the courage. So that's when they come in and they, they give you that nudge, it's like they push you off that branch. Poke. You gotta fly. It's time to fly. Because you have a better opportunity waiting for you. And you've been distracted. Letting yourself get distracted by fear it's time for positive change and now you have an opportunity to go in a new direction you're being offered an opportunity to go in a new direction that is much better suited for you. And because you have lacked the courage to do so, the universe of the tower is like, poke, push, prod, bang, boom. Here's your new opportunity. You should be excited about it. Go get it. It's a time for positive change and that's what they want. But somebody has really let their anxiety and their depression and their fears and their guilt hold them back. Knowing that it's time for this to end. The next card is the Ten of Swords. Refusing to close that door. Nines are closure. Uh, knowing that this needs to end, but refusing to take that leap, that step into the unknown. The ending is imminent. The next card is the Ten of Swords. It's time to stop losing sleep. It's time to stop feeling guilty. It's time to stop letting your fears hold you back and take that leap of faith.
This roller coaster ride has been too much. It's been extremely detrimental to your health. It has caused a decline in health, living a lie. And it's time to heal. So I feel like today is a day of somebody, well not just somebody, today is a day where the, or tomorrow because it's the 20th and it is the 21st, where the universe is in charge. And the universe is going to bring about some sort of event or epiphany or something that pushes someone in a new direction once and for all. It's time to fly. Spread your wings because you're about to be pushed over the edge. When you get over that edge, you're gonna find the ultimate abundance extreme abundance, extreme happiness. But this is also a 10, it's a completion. You have to complete this cycle first and face your fears. So yeah, we have a new beginning here. We do. But it, this new beginning happens when you stand up for yourself and stop blocking you need to face your fears and take action like I said the magician takes action the fears have been so great that somebody hasn't taken action And the tower sees it, the universe sees it, and they're going to shake things up for you. Because living in this situation is no good. No good. If you're living in a lose-lose situation, there is no need to stay there. You're dealing with a person that you cannot win. They will not give up. Their ego is too big. This is the ultimate ego card right here. This person does not care who they hurt. It's about winning. I posted a quote on my Facebook page the other day. It was about ego. In the, in the uh, something of ego, in the face of ego. Hold on, let me see if I can bring it up real quick. I gotta find it. It's perfect for this. I'm sorry. That's it totally describes this card. Of course, my phone is going slow because I'm trying to go fast. In a war of ego, and I had mentioned something about a war. In a war of ego, the loser always wins. Walk away. You will be the victor. It's not worth fighting this person whose ego is so big. You will be the victor. This is a card of severing ties. It's time to sever those ties because you deserve respect, happiness, love, kindness, to be heard, 
and to not fight every day. You can't win. So today is a day where the universe, the tower, is bringing in some sort of shake up to push you over the edge to defend yourself, to stand up for yourself. Good luck. Be prepared. <laughs>